Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today to get us ready for camp. So, um, I am super excited. Today is Friday. Camp begins on Monday. And I have received some of the sweetest emails. I just cannot say how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I am so sorry, but the packets are gone. They were gone almost instantly. Um, we, I, 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 we were blessed on this channel to receive lots of wonderful support, and I was able to put everything in a packet together to mail out to the first dozen people who sent in their information and, um, and wanted a kit. And I have tried to answer every single email. If I have missed you, please re-email me just so I can say, you know, so I can touch base with you. Um, but I wanted to come back and say, this is how to get ready for camp if you're in the camp and if you're not in the camp. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, if you're in the camp, you're basically going to need very few supplies. But, um, you will need a... Whoops, hold on. Okay, I've got two packets here of things, so I want to be sure. Alright, well first off, everybody always make sure you have your water. I've got my water. Because <laughs> in the south it's nice and hot. You will need a tape runner and or glue. So there's those two. You will need a pair of scissors and your materials. If you choose to add washi or anything extra color, you have um, you know some pin or a couple of pins in there. You're welcome to add more. Just you, this is your camp. You do what you want, okay? Um, but this is all that's really required. Um, after that, you know, oh, and, and then also if, if you have a journaling Bible, put that in there. You will, some of us will be using it. Some have bought a journaling Bible for the camp. Um, and again, this camp is running from July 15th to August 15th. And, but if you don't want to use your Bible and you just want to use the booklet that was included, then you are set to go, okay? So do not feel like you have to go out and get a journaling Bible, um, but if you have one and you want to bring it in, more power to you, okay? I'm going to do every single lesson will be started with the um, signature, the little notebook, and then at the end, I will share with you my Bible journaling if that makes any sense. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Bible out of here. I'm so excited to use this one with you guys. So I have waited to do everything with y'all. So I'm super, super excited. Now I've been asked, how do I do this if I don't have the kit? Because I don't have the scripture. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't, you know, all these different things. So many of you, um, have a Dollar Tree by you. You may have a Tuesday morning, which I highly recommend. Um, you may have a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, or you may not have that. You may just have a grocery store with, you know, glue and scissors, and that's that. And that works because every single day I will show the scripture for the day. You can literally take a pen and write it in, and you don't have to have. I want to share, these are some of the things that you can use. You can get this, I believe this is from Target, and this was off a clearance bin I had a while back. This is from Michaels. These are a dollar or two. Um, I think they're two dollars, but they were recently reduced, and I think I got it for a dollar. Um, you can also see at Ikea, they have these kinds of signatures, um, and these are really nice because they're a nice big area to work. Um, there is also, I put a whole stack of stuff here to share with y'all. <laughs> um, they have these trio sets and in different, you know, varieties at Hobby Lobby. And sometimes they'll have these on clearance, just like, you know, this was found on sale. So there's that if you want to stick with a signature. And then, of course, here is the typical TN. This came from Felicity Jane, but you can find these anywhere. You can find these at Michael's. You can find these at 
Hobby Lobby. You can find these at, sometimes you can find these at Tuesday morning too. And I always grab them when I'm at Tuesday morning because if I won't use it, I know I can like make something and give it to somebody else if that makes any sense. So um, Tuesday morning is always the score. Or if you happen to be like me and I found that one on sale, you know, these are great. Um, I want to think that... Um, you and oh, I, I want to think that you can right now find a lot of summer clearance right now. Michaels has huge summer clearance sales right now. I've been to one. I had my 20% off coupon on top of everything else, so it was a massive score. Even my husband was like, "Yeah, you know, get me something." So, anyways, he was so cute. And but I just want to say, you know, if you cannot and you're not able to do this then use just a, just a regular notepad or just take some paper and fold it together or even better yet, get you um, some white paint. These are like, uh, these are 99 cents at Target. They're cheaper at, um, at uh, they have cheaper versions of acrylic paint at, I think it's Apple Barrel at Walmart. And of course they have it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, all of those. But um, get you a magazine, an old, very glossy, nice sheet magazine, sometimes like even freebie flyers like San Antonio has the Women of San Antonio and is like a fantastic magazine. Um, it's free when you're, you know, going in and out of the grocery store. It's there. It's free. Take that and take a two page, you know, open it up, paint each side lightly with the white paint or gesso, gesso would be better, but if you don't, gesso is expensive, so go with the white, you know, acrylic paint. Let it dry, wait a few minutes, paint another light coating of it, let it dry overnight, and then the next day, that's your two-page spread. So, don't go spend a lot of money, okay? Um, okay, so, you're going to want some kind of notebook or something to work from. You can also even work at Walmart right now. They have composition notebooks for 50 cents. So if you can afford 50 cents, go grab you one. And the composition notebooks are fantastic. They're pre-lined. And if you want to put gesso down, you can. You can leave the lines, which I love, because then I can just journal all around it. So, um, so get you some kind of notebook. All right. You can even do a three-ring binder. You can do all kinds of things. I could, I could go on and on and on course you're still going to need some kind of a tape runner they have tape runners not this brand but they have tape runners at um sometimes at dollar tree they're they're fine they're not the best but they're fine um any kind of a glue that will dry pretty quickly this is a fantastic glue it dries very quickly i think i get the best deal of this either on amazon or at hobby lobby with coupons so, and I really like, I love the green one with the white in the middle. The glue comes out white, but it is really, 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 really sticky. So, I always say, um, if you're new to using glue, go with the clear. It dries quickly, and on this one, you get the fat end, like, you know, like the, the glue we had when we were kids, and I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was, and then we... <laughs> the top glue okay so you know the thin the thin spout so this is just a really great glue if you buy this glue and you don't go crazy because you really don't want to use a ton of glue because you don't want things to ripple um as much as possible um this this will last me a long time i mean i'll get through many many projects so um and then any this came from tuesday morning so even a glue dot adhesive tape runner is totally fine. This is Tombow Mono. Of course, Tuesday morning is going to be super cheap. They have tape runners all the time. Please go look at Tuesday morning. Scissors Dollar Tree. You can get them for a dollar. These didn't come from the Dollar Tree, but I'm just saying, you can get scissors for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I have them all over my house, outside, on my gardening, everything. They are great scissors from the Dollar Tree. So let me get that out of the way so we can keep chatting. All right, now, also, I highly recommend, um, besides all the paints, and, and these are great, pick your favorite colors that you want to do for your adventure camp. I have four right now that are just out here. Um, these work great. I'm super happy. These I've been using in my um, 100 Days of uh, Less Hustle, More Jesus. I love these. I mean, I've, I've come to really like these. This is just an extra Nouveau that I had that I just stuck in here. 
um, any kind of like stickles. They have stickles. They have the Walmart stickles that are less than a dollar. They work great. If you want a little shush on your pages, go for it. If you don't, don't do it. You don't have to do it. When we make our pages, you make them for you. This is between you and the Lord. I'm not going to see it. Probably not even your spouse is going to see it if you're married or you're, if you're not married, your best friend or your sibling. They're probably not going to see this. So this is between you and God. So you decorate it however you like to, whether that's loud and crazy or quiet and delicate or whatever's your favorite, okay? This is your expression of creativity that God has given you that you're giving back to Him. That's what, that's what Bible journaling is to me. And it's to encourage our hearts to dig into the Word more. So, um, this is some pom-poms. I got this in a Felicity Jane, um, one of the kits. And then washi. You can get a, is it a, like a four or five, maybe six pack of washi at Tuesday morning for $3.99. That is less than a dollar a roll. That's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And they'll usually kind of coordinate. And they'll have, yes, they'll have like Christmas and it's July or they'll have other things. But look for the one that has the colors that you want in it. And just grab it. And that, I mean, if you can afford that, do that. If you cannot do washi, I'll show you one better. Okay, so any of those are great. These are wonderful. This is Bible journaling tape by Illustrated Faith, but you don't have to have it. Um, I've used some of it. I haven't used some of it. And this will last me probably, I don't know, 10 years. It'll just be around forever. Washi tape is always always a great investment. Um, also, I wanted to show you, keep the lids off of things. I have tons of, over there, they're going out to my craft spot, of um, like plastic tubs um, that, you know, cookies come in or, or whatever, butter tubs or whatever you have um, that most people just throw away. If you're not reusing it in your kitchen, reuse it in your, um, your craft space. And what I love about this is I can pull my paints out. I can set my stuff up for the day, you know, throw everything in here and I'm ready to go. Or whoops, let's take that one back out. Okay. So I'm ready to go. Um, I can throw my scissors in here. And if I'm sitting by my in my chair while I'm while my husband's watching TV, I just grab, you know, maybe I just want to do a little bit of paint. So I grab one of those and maybe contrasting color. And then um, I just, you know how I use my paint too? You guys have seen me do it before. I just use a wet wipe. I use a damp paper towel. I, you know, you don't even have to have a paintbrush. You don't even have to have a paintbrush. But they do have paintbrushes at the Dollar Tree, I will tell you that. So, um, so fix your basket the way you would want it. If you have any colored markers, grab those. They have um, like eight packs of gel pens, a variety of colors for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I cannot tell you how many of those I have given away. I buy those and give those away all the time. And I'm always surprised because people are always like, oh, wow, I didn't know they had this. And I'm like, they've had that for years, guys. I mean, <laughs> I guess it's the teacher in me. But whenever I go there, I'm always like, oh, yeah, this is good. I'll buy this, put this up, you know, because I have, you know, I've had students that couldn't afford things. And so you just try to have some things available. If you want to use a two-sided tear and tape. Um, this stuff is fantastic. I love it. You stick it down, you peel off the top, and then you have two-sided tape, and you can put that down on whatever on your journal and put something on top, and it'll stick to it. And it just tears. It literally, it just tears. That's how easy it is. So, and yes, I will save that and use that. <laughs> you guys know me. But, I mean, just keep it simple. Do what you can do. Now, I'm going to show you some other things because... In the kit, there's stickers, there's papers, there's, oh my goodness, there's just a whole variety of things. There's ephemera, there's all kinds of stuff. So, I wanted to share different ideas. Um, any of you that have any of the word fetty, um, I, it's $5.99 at Hobby Lobby. Take your 40% off coupon, and you got it. You got it for a little over $3. Um, and this will last you forever. I mean, just forever. I love word fetty. Um, and I love like the, there, there used to be a lot of word fetty with illustrated faith. You can also do printouts. Um, you can go online, you can find, uh, words online and piece it together and then print it out. And it can just be black and white. You don't even have to have a color printer. Um, just keep it simple. You can also pick up any of these kind of, um, 
ephemera packets. This one is by Crate Paper. I think I got this. I, I'm not sure where. I may have gotten that in order, but um, Tuesday morning has tons of these. Tons of these. And they are a fraction of the original price. I mean, anybody who knows this channel knows I don't pay retail. I'm sorry. I just don't pay retail. I'm terrible. Um, I mean, I so appreciate all the creativity and all the hard work that goes into every single thing that is made in the craft world. But I know I have a limited budget. And if it weren't for so many kind people on this channel, we couldn't do this because I couldn't do it, you know. So, you know, look and see where you want to put your money, where you cannot put your money, then get creative. Hold on. You can also pick up, they have pom-poms like these at um, Target, and it's over like in the kid craft area. Um, it, I think they have it actually by their washi tape, but um, there's also sometimes they have clearance washi at Target. Go for it. Go for it. Keep it lean. Do what you can afford. Um, another thing is this came from this either came from Michael's on or Hobby Lobby and it was on sale hands down on sale or you can find things like this all the time at Tuesday morning so sometimes people see my house and they're like oh my gosh what do you do with all that junk well I just file it if, it, if it's something I can't use right now or something I can't give to somebody else like when I'm trying to you know if I have somebody over and I want them to craft with me or if I'm out and about and I'm with a friend and then they want to craft and they want something I just hand it and they're just like but uh, you know and I'm like no it's okay um you know it, it it's I, I I literally sat at a crop that I went to a few weeks ago and somebody needs it and I said here just here take it and she was like oh, I can't take that and I said why not it was tape runner who cares I just said I have extra you take one and she was just like but I and I said it's okay it's okay you've been a great friend while we've, we were just new friends you're making beautiful pages you're teaching me everything that you're doing along the way oh my goodness gracious how blessed am I and she and since then we have been chatting back and forth messaging each other and it wasn't it wasn't that i gave it to her so she'd be my friend she was already my friend so i have things that i keep that if i'm able to pass it on to the next person pass it on and if you can't then use it yourself um look for the clearance at tuesday morning that is a huge place to go craft um the regular crafting prices are phenomenal. There's no doubt. But then on top of that, they have a section in the back that has like different levels of clearance on it. I have literally gotten things 90% off. I've got a haul right over there that my husband and I were there together. And he was like, oh my gosh, I got like a hundred and something dollar item for $6. Six. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to make that video for y'all. Anyway, so they always have a big basket in my um, Tuesday morning, and it has, like, all the different, like, little things like this. Okay. Now, here are flowers that I get at Michael's, and I get these when they're on sale or on, oh, and that was a gift from a friend. So, anyways, um, I saved them in the back, what I'm not using um, already. But I literally, um, you know, like, I put things together like this. I've got... You can get these kind of stickers sometimes in your like in your mail. I mean, if you get um, because you donate to a certain charity or or they somehow put you on their mailing list, sometimes you get like stickers that are supposed to be for you know letters or cards or something. Use those. Um, you can use those cards that are sent to you. Um, you can cut those up and use them for ephemera. There are all, you can use the envelopes. We're going to be doing, on one of the pages, we'll be doing an envelope project. So when you have a bill, and if it's a bill you pay online and you get a return envelope, save the envelope. We're gonna, I'm going to do something with that as well. So, and I didn't put that in everyone's packet. That's going to be for you guys. Um, again, this is regularly $4.99. I got it for $1.49 at Tuesday morning with my 20% off. 20% off $1.49? Really? I mean, that's crazy. So, you know, look for the sales, save your coupons, and, and have a few pennies set to the side so when the sale hits, you know, sometimes like I'll buy one for me and one for somebody else as a gift, and I'll put it up and give them a gift of a journal or whatever, you know, for birthdays, Christmas, whatever. Or, you know, just because they're such a good friend. So, and by the way, Tuesday morning on the end caps will have clearance areas go there. You may think, well, ooh, that's not my color. 
But then, you know, I look at this and I think, ooh, I don't, I mean, orange is pretty. It's just not always a color I gravitate to. Um, that kind of avocado green. I like green. Green and pink are my two favorite color combinations. But when I think of green, green and pink, I don't think of those two together. But if I have something that, like a, a flower set that I got on sale and it was that, you know, like funky mustard yellow or funny orange. I recently bought some on clearance and I thought, oh, those are not my colors. And I realized they were such a good buy. And when I'm doing my Bible journaling, guess what? I get out of my color wheelhouse. I have certain colors I gravitate to, gravitate to definitely. But then there's some colors that it's just like, God gave us all the colors on the rainbow. Use them all. So, um, if you find it on clearance and it's like a, a phenomenal deal, like, you know, 50 cents, grab it, save it. You can use it in your journaling. Okay, so we've talked about these kinds of things. So let me get this out of the way. Now, um, oh, and then here are things like, you know, this was 49 cents, really 219. These are great. They're just great options in scrapping and in Bible journaling and in just you know, project, crafting projects. So just grab these kinds of things. Um, another option is, and I talked about free um, cards you get in the mail. Do any of you get free gift wrap? And, and then here comes stickers too. So I would cut the tops off these and that would be washi for me. And down here, the same here. How cute would that be on the bottom of a page? Just to have those little flowers going across the bottom. Or down the side, use this one. Or cut that, you know, that heart out. Use that. And actually, yeah, you have to cut it on that side. So, and in the beginning, you can put to and from. And it could be your 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 Bible journaling plate. So, in your, in your little journal. So, um, you don't have to have expensive craft paper. Gift wrap works well. And sometimes we already have gift wrap in our stash. That we, we used X amount and we have this, like, one little funky piece left. Use it. Go for it. Another thing that I save, and you can see that I save it because there's the tape, is tissue. I love tissue. And this is, this comes in my, or these always wrap the Buy the Well for God and Etsy shop um, when I buy things from her. And so I love this paper. I save this paper. I save all of my tissue. Just so you know, I have stacks and stacks and I'm going to quit pulling it all out. Well, let me at least get this straightened up. I've got this and this. So I save all of this and even though parts of it look really funky and bad, and like this one is torn right here, I will still fold it up and then save it for the next project. So it doesn't take much. Another thing are napkins. When you are out at somebody's party or, you know, like if you go to a birthday party or you go you know, eat somewhere, and you're like, oh, that that napkin has a pretty, you know, like, flower on it. I'd love to just have that one little flower. Gently fold the napkin. Don't crease it if you can avoid it, and put that in your pocketbook or your purse or your whatever you have with you. Take it home. Cut it out. Um, use, and if you, if you just have Elmer's glue, this is an Elmer's. You can take Elmer's glue, water it down. You don't have to have Mod Podge. You don't have to have, you know, fancy products to, to put something on a, a, on a, on a journaling page. I will do a napkin for you guys to share with you guys at a certain point in the, in the process of our, our, of our, um, our camp. So, you know, you can grab things like that. I also wanted to share something else. How many of you guys get these in the mail? I get, <laughs> I'm very embarrassed. I probably get like 15 of these calendars. And at first I'd like give them to my nephews for Christmas. I'd just stick it in their Christmas bag. My sister, my brother, you know, everybody, my parents. And my, this is all my parents I ever used. They never bought a calendar um, after a certain point, And especially not my dad. Um, sorry, this fell. I'm going to stick this back up in here. So, um, just, if you get these for free, these pictures are gorgeous. You can even come over and cut the back. And you can find calendars for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I buy calendars on clearance every year. Um, like at Hobby Lobby at a certain point when they're like 70, 80, 90% off. Especially the Lang calendars, any kind of Christian calendar. Anything I think that I can use in mixed media, I will grab. Um, it's cheaper than, than scrapbook paper. 
seriously it is it's cheaper than a designer kit so um, you know if you're putting this down on a page so here's the calendar and you flip it and maybe you're going to cut out one of these gorgeous flowers or maybe just this section sorry this section right here nobody's ever going to see that it was a calendar on the back it's just what, what you want to do and if you don't want it you know shiny like that you can also use like a flat Mod Podge. There's a lot of things you can do. Um, they sell Mod Podge in a little bitty, looks like this, at the Dollar Tree. They sell these. and um, it, But they're, they're Mod Podge, not, not the paint, but they're Mod Podge. Um, these are great options. I mean, they really, really are. Um, hold on one second. Oh, goodness. I was going to have this out for you. So you know the little bitty kids' watercolors? that are at the at the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar. They have like Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse. They have like the Disney princesses. They're not the top quality um, watercolor, but guess what? They're a buck. And you're going to get like, you know, seven different colors or eight different colors, however many is in that palette. You may even get a paintbrush. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. You can use that and think of all the colors you could use. Um... I will make sure to do a watercolor page press in this process. Um, let's see. Okay, another thing that I highly recommend. These are from the Dollar Tree. They are a dollar each. Now, I'm going to tell you that I can be a letter snob, but I went to my last crop with Creative Memories, and I did not have any alphas with me, but the ones that are in, like, the type... You know, the, it was the archivers one. It's in the archivers line, and they're, they're just the circle that looked like the old-fashioned typewriter, and those are great, and I love them. But I didn't want them on every single page because I finished a whole album that weekend. I started it and ended it when I left, and um, I would have given my ten bucks <laughs> for any one of these, um, especially the black. Um, I just can't say enough. If you can find white. And they're not a slick finish. You can you can use your watercolors, you can use your markers, you can use whatever you want, your gelatos, your paints, and you can make them the color that you want them. So there are things that you can do that don't cost a lot. But these are 370 plus you get punctuation, numbers, and letters, and it's 370 count. These are stickers. I mean, look at that. A dollar. A dollar each at the Dollar Tree. This is great. You don't have to have these. You can just write, but if you want stickers, you can use stickers, okay? Um, one other thing I'm going to share, and many of you are going to go, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, um, but, um, hold on. If, well, there's two more things I'm going to share. Sorry, I lied. <laughs> you don't have to have these stamps, but if you have any stamps, even if it just says like, wow, or great, or a beautiful sun, you know, like a sunshine, like happy face, anything. All stamps and stickers and ephemera, even though it may be intended for a wedding or for this or for that, it's amazing how you can word it in your journaling and use it the way you want to use it. So I'm not a huge fan of donuts. I mean, I'm going to be honest. There is one donut shop in the town over. It's called Shipley's Donuts, and their donut holes melt in your mouth, especially if you get there first thing in the morning. I used to always have to pick them up for our, um, one of the co-ops I was on the board of. And um, my kids would sit in the back seat, and I was like, okay, guys, I'm going to order extra for y'all <laughs> because it was cruel to make them sit and hold the big, huge box of donut holes and they didn't, and I wouldn't let them get into them. So I would just buy one little small, like, you know, baker's dozen or wherever they sold, a little paper bag, and the kids could split it. But um, that's the only time I like donuts. So my husband, he's a donut man. He loves donuts. So I, if I were journaling about my husband in with the scripture for the day, my Bible journaling, I might, you know, talk about, you know, um, he may be going through something, pray about it, do not, uh, do not worry about it, you know, and I might put a donut down, and, um, and that might be my signature, and that may be, that may be, you know, so I remember to pray for him for, that he's anxious about something, you know, anything like that, anything, um, you know, like I said, use old, like, this is my 2018 calendar, I'm not throwing this away, 
that's gorgeous. I mean, yes, I will use lots of this. And even like this, I could use this as a background. And then...